So, things got interesting today. I know you're scared, but I need you to be brave. So if you guys didn't know, there's this whole Easter egg going on right now on PawnTakesPawn.com, and it's seemingly pointing towards zombies, and you're going to see why at the end of the video I explain the whole thing. Uh, but it also involves the campaign of Black Ops Cold War as well, and it's kind of interesting to see where this is going. Now, this Easter egg currently isn't over. It's going to continue tomorrow, as you'll see, uh, but I wanted to make this video to, first of all, explain how the entire Easter egg has worked so far and what it is has led us to, including that recording that you heard earlier. So let's go back and start at the very beginning. So this all started a couple of days ago with a bunch of YouTubers, actually six different YouTubers and a couple of streamers getting big boxes in the mail. Now inside these boxes, some of them got computers, some of them got cameras, but each of them led them to a computer program telling them that in the next day at noon, there was going to be some sort of event on PawnTakesPawn.com. Fast forward to the next day, this is what we get on PawnTakesPawn. It's a new videotape. Open, drop, save, restore. We've only begun to make our way through this maze of secrets. How deep are you willing to go? What paths will you travel? What other commands will you learn and follow? Let's blow this conspiracy up. So basically the big takeaway from that is once again, the Easter egg on Pawn Takes Pawn continues, but you may have noticed that there were six different sets of codes, each color coded that popped up on the screen during that little video. Coincidentally, there were six different terminals sent out to YouTubers and streamers. So each person had their own six codes that they could put in and then try to figure out what they meant. Essentially from this, there was three different types of images that each person received. The first of which was essentially this chessboard type of puzzle, the second of which was a chopper command picture, which is an old Activision game, and the third of which appeared to be some sort of like Zork-like images that showed individual items that are probably from Zork itself. Now, each of these was its own puzzle, but on PawnTakesPawn.com, there were new instructions added to the printer. So as you can see, 923, which is of course yesterday, well, some crawl through tunnels and fight in the trenches, others dodge bullets in the sky. It shows a picture of the chopper, obviously referring to the chopper command thing, but it says, to begin your airborne mission, find the game boards in terminals one to six. The following guidelines will aid in decoding efforts. Step one. Modify the boards. Columns and rows wrap around when shifted. Step two, apply grids. Black plus black equals color. Black plus color equals black. And color plus color equals color. Once the game boards have been properly modified and assembled, they will reveal your next instructions. So this is where things start to get a little bit more confusing. So what you do for this is first of all, you have to modify the board. So you take one of these boards and then Noah actually got a modifier code. So you look at the code and blue says, for example, C goes up three. So you take the C column and move the squares up three spots and it wraps around. And what this does is make a whole new board. Then you take the blue overlay, lay it on top, and then and this kind of gives you an overall image, decoding it with the color and color equals black or so on and so forth with the instructions from the printer before. Now, the person who was completely on top of this and by far did this the fastest was Geeky Pastimes. His channel will be linked down in the description. We're also going to talk about him a little bit later as well. And what he ended up finding out is that these end up spelling a word and what it says is slash dust off. So what you do is go to pawn takes pawn slash dust off. And at this one, what you end up discovering is another set of instructions. It says airborne jump orders, scanner stack to reveal rendezvous point, reserve heli count indicates pilot manual page, heli latitude positioning and direction indicate order and jump direction white helicopters jump twice yellow helicopters jump three times and mission score indicates letter index so very confusing here and i'll very briefly explain this so this one refers to the chopper command pages and the first thing that you have to do is see that little square thing at the very bottom what you had to do is take all six of those and line up the little red dot what this ended up revealing was another page this one one was called pontakespawn.com slash bat decoder. This actually takes you to the chopper command
command instruction manual. And as you can see on each of the pages, there's a bunch of redacted lines on all of them. Now, essentially what you do here is take all of the instructions that we had before from dust off and apply them to the different chopper command slides. And this gives us another code, which eventually gives you the code. And this has to be all one word bonus stage unlocked. Now, once you do this, it takes you to another website called pontexpon.com slash fire and air. This one was locked until the next day, 924, AKA today. Now I'm not going to explain how to find these two codes. It's a very in-depth way of playing the game Zork. Um, Geeky Pastimes actually does a very good job of explaining the whole thing. So check out his channel if you want to understand how all of the Zork stuff works. But essentially it gives you the two codes, which are, by the way, now that it's the proper time we can do this, but the two words are first of all, forceful gale. And the second one is called covert conflagration. Once you put these two in, they both have to be all one word. It takes you to pontakespawn.com slash vanguard, which is some more of these little codes that they have to put into the terminals that we talked about before. Now, once you put them into the terminal, six of these chopper command images, in Photoshop, I rearranged them so that this is what we get. As you can see in the bottom middle there, you have a backslash and then V Charlie. Now this is where things get interesting, especially in my opinion, because this is actually a transcript of several missions through Black Ops 1. It speaks of Kravchenko, the Rat's Nest, Hugh City, and a bunch of different things in 1968. Now, the interesting thing about this is that now you have to use this with the chopper command, the same thing that we did before, to decipher another code. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire thing deciphering it, but what it ends up giving us is another new website called pontexpawn.com slash subterranean signal, where you have to put in six different mission orders. These are actually taken from that image that we saw before, the words like checkpoint, loadout, cooldown, so once you put all of those in from the image and submit them, this takes us to our final thing for today. There's actually several different things on here. So the first one, this is just a basic note that says, see you tomorrow, that the Easter egg is done for today and that it will continue tomorrow. However, there's other parts, including a voice recorder, a note, and finally a map. Now, starting out with the map, it circles an area called Marasko, which is in Poland, just north of Poznan. I'm probably saying all of those locations wrong, but you get the idea. Now, the reason why this is important, because I actually believe that this is pointing towards zombies. Because if we do a little bit of research about Murasako, or however you say it, the first thing that comes up is Marasko Meteorite Nature Reserve. And as it turns out, this is an area where there are seven different craters made by meteorites. This kind of lines up with the whole theme of zombies. Now, this was established in 1976, in other words, just before the events of Black Ops Cold War. The second thing that we have here, in my opinion, is the most interesting. It's a note written to M. We don't know who M is. It could be Mason. It could be Maxis from Zombies. But the note says, there is a developing situation at La Bianca, which is basically the KGB headquarters at this time. They found something in the archives, something from the war. I'm not sure about the Collegium, which is basically like an association in ancient Rome, which again points towards zombies, but several of the deputy chairmen are recommending that the committee authorize a ground operation. I will try to find out what I can, but this is very worrying. These are very serious men, but I have never seen looks on their faces like I have in recent days. From... Tatiana. Now, we don't know who M or Tatiana are, but we're about to hear a voice recording from some lady to someone who we don't know about Tatiana. So, here's what it says. I know you're scared, but I need you to be brave. Again, Tatiana has a package, but I'm worried about her. She hasn't been back to Lubyanka since she took it. Bad mistake. Her superiors are not stupid men. They will notice her absence. It is most unlike her. They will bring her in for interrogation. As soon as she hears the words, the KGB has irrefutable evidence that you have been actively engaged in anti-Soviet activities. She'll talk. But that won't stop them. Go to her house. Get the package. Whether she wants you to or not. I'm working with people in the West who can help us. Help you. I want you to know. 
with whatever happens, your actions will save many lives. So, I don't know who this was sent to, whether it's Mason, whether it's Adler, or whether it's some new zombies character that we don't know about. But it is definitely interesting. And I guess, as you can see by the note here, we'll find a little bit more about it tomorrow. So be sure to stay tuned in, hit that subscribe button, have notifications on, and whatever we figure out tomorrow, I will keep you guys updated with. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I know we covered things from season six to zombies to this whole entire Easter egg. Uh, but if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and let me know what you think of all of this down in the comments. Let me know where you think it's going. But as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making.